Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I am Briarios Kerensky and welcome to the unboxing of the limited edition of Atelier Sophie, the alchemist of the mysterious book. As with many limited editions on this channel as of late, this comes from Nipponichi America's European online store. And in addition to the box you are seeing there, there is this small set of prints, this cloth poster, and three DLC codes that are in fact emailed to you when you buy the edition. But before delving into the extras, let's delve into the box itself. On the front cover we see Sophie, we see the title on the sides, on all sides except for the bottom where you have the publisher information, and on the back Plakta, the book of this game because you are talking about a Japanese game, of course. So, let's take a look inside. Here's the game. Soundtrack CD. And a small art book. Let's move on to the game that on the front cover once again depicts Sophie and Plakta. The Peggy rating here indicates that this is the European edition. On the back we see once again Sophie and Plakta, a bunch of screenshots this time, technical details, legal information, Peggy ratings, and here we can see that there is English text and Japanese voices as well as English voices plus English subtitles. Being this a PS4 game, oh well, my eyes spy a not so manual, just a warranty booklet, usual. And nothing much in the game itself. The title of the soundtrack is kind of lost on the front cover, but here we can see that it's called the Sound Archives Diurne Nocturne. So I guess this means there are two CDs in here. But enough of the front cover, let's move to the back, where we see, yeah, there are two discs with around 20 tracks for each. And I guess that this might be a good portion of the complete soundtrack for the game. So inside we see Sophie and I guess that the illustration continues between the two, yeah. We see Plakta in her book form on the back. But I guess this is just a leaflet and not a booklet. But here are the discs. The urn with Sophie. And Nocturne with Plakta. In both her forms, I guess. And now the art book, that is a nicely bound booklet. Nothing much on the covers. So inside we go. Table of contents. Illustrations we already seen on the box. And this is the complete illustration for the soundtrack. And this is the other illustration in the reverse color for the soundtrack. Some characters and 3D models in the typical Gust style of late. Characters, I guess, there will be sketches now. Yes, huh. kind of modern with this hat.
I've noticed this just now, but Plakta and Sefi have different illustrator. And the kind of detail of Plakta's costume. A rather high number of males in this atelier game. Of course, Pamela is here. Her outfit is kind of similar to other atelier games. And here we have the environments. And here we have the book. To start off with the extras we have these art prints that all show illustrations we already seen both on the cover of the box or the art book. They are printed on glossy paper and the back is the same for everyone. Color rendition is good, as well as detail. Of course, Sophie and Plakta take the center stage here. And last, but absolutely not least, we have the cloth poster. This is quite the big poster. It's 67 by 102 centimeters, so it's rather huge. If I have to move a couple of things against it, first, there is no support. You have to buy a frame for this. And the colors are rather soft. The white cloth does not help, and a lot of details don't have the saturation they should have. But otherwise, this is a stunning extra. I was absolutely not expecting a poster of this size. The DLC codes include five teams for your PlayStation 4. They are named A1, A2, B1, B2 and C. The C theme is my favorite, especially for the wallpaper used in the system settings. All themes come with their own system icons as well as sounds. So, I quite like this limited edition of Atelier Sophie by Nipponichi America. The biggest surprise is the poster, I never imagined it would be that big. The prints are nice, they are well done, and cover all the main characters of the game. 
the arc hook is bold, but again it covers all the bases. The soundtrack is another surprise, and while it is not the complete soundtrack, there are two discs with around 40 tracks. This limited edition is only available through Nisa's European online store, but if you have the chance, you should totally get it. A first hour play of this game will follow soon. A review is unlikely though. I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing and you'll stick around for more. Briare Oskarensky, over and out.